Okay, you got the immediate feedback? All right, so you're going to know whether you got that first one right or wrong immediately. The classroom of tomorrow is here today at Sherwood Middle School and 17 other SCS campuses with the launching of the Blended Learning Pilot Program. Blended learning is a combination of teacher-led instruction delivered in a traditional classroom setting and student-controlled instruction that can be accessed anywhere. That universal access is provided by a tablet computer. Uh, every administrator, every teacher, and every student gets a device. Um, it's, it's been very exciting from an IT perspective to roll these devices out and to teach the, the students how to be digital citizens, um, how to properly use the devices, um, how to be, become better users of these systems and be proactive and making sure that their systems are up to date. Um, but it's really exciting to see how quick the students take to using these devices. They're, um, they're very way ahead of us as far as technology goes. Although the pilot is still in its early stages, soon the devices will be loaded with a digital curriculum aligned to the district's required academic standards and achievement measures. It will be accessible 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The pilot program will span three years and will involve more than 12,000 students and over 800 teachers and administrators. At Sherwood Middle, Principal Corey Kelly has a specific goal in mind for the program this year. What I hope is that uh, by the end of the year, that uh, when we look at our data, that we'll see student achievement has risen uh, 10 points in, in, e in each uh, subject area uh, because we're in the I zone and the expectation in the I zone is to strive to be in the top 25 percent. A goal that seems entirely possible considering how eagerly teachers and students have taken to the technology. It's been better than using regular books because you get to do hands-on activities and you get to interact more with your lessons. It allows my students opportunities to access things that otherwise they wouldn't be able to. There's no reason that we can't visit Rome in my class. There's no reason that we can't see what's going on over in Africa right now, dealing with standards that are in my curriculum. So it poses challenges, but they're welcome challenges, and I just think it's an awesome opportunity for both teachers and students. An early benefit of the pilot is that technology savvy students are engaging with their teachers in ways to implement the tablets into their teaching. In Ralph Williams' algebra class, students were focused on an online program they'd suggested to him. For a teacher just overcoming you know, the fear of something new, but once you get past that, I think there's a lot of exciting possibilities that go with this technology. I don't see it going back from this, yes. To take this device away, uh, I'd fight tooth and nail to, uh, to keep it. At this point, the laptops in all schools in the pilot program are kept at the schools. Ultimately, it will be up to each principal to decide when to allow the devices to go home with the students. But the district wants parents to know that student safety and security measures are already in place for when that happens.